to new video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can manage your build dot grid dependency properly for your multi module projects or for your single module projects so i'm going to elaborate you with the help of single module project but this approach is also working for your multi module projects okay so first thing change your a uh, view from android to projects so i'm going to use a toml file in order to manage our dependency so right click new create a new file and the file name is lips version toml make sure the name is exactly same okay so here we have four section we have version we have libraries uh, we have plugins and lastly we have bundles okay so change your mode from project to android go to build dot grammar module app level and i'm gonna manage this dependency first so copy this go in my lips version toml so the first thing is your version so on the bottom of my file i'm gonna paste this so that it is very easy for me to taking reference so you'll notice this is our version so i'm gonna call it core version which is 1.8.0 okay and now it's time to create a library so i'm gonna call this core ktx within this we have module and our version a reference so in my case our version reference is core version and my module is this particular piece of thing okay now i'm gonna sync my project okay everything is fine jump into your build dot module app level and remove this dependency with our lips dot core dot ktx and one more thing when you open your lips version toml you will notice we gave name core dash ktx so this dash is actually converted into dot so that's why i'm using lips dot core dot ktx okay sync your project and everything is fine that means our approach is working properly and this lips.core.ktx is also available in your different modules suppose if you have a lot of modules so this particular thing is available for all of your modules now it's time to manage our plugins so in our build.gradle project level i'm gonna copy this thing go in my lips version toml and at the bottom i'm gonna paste it so that it is very easy for me to take reference and in the plugins the first thing i'm gonna call this as android application okay so here we have id so id is this particular piece of thing and version is 8.0.1 so okay so either you create a version variable or you can directly use it like this way okay so i'm gonna remove it and jump to my build dot griddle project level to my project okay so now everything is available here so i'm gonna use allies uh, we have lips plugins android application okay and the same thing we're gonna use here build.gradle module app level on the first plugin i'm gonna call allies and similarly lips plugin android application and remove this plugin now sync your project and you will notice everything works well so this is a approach of uh, using your dependencies such a way we can use it everywhere in your multi module projects build dot griddle or in your single module build dot griddle so now it's time to see the implementation of this bundle how we can use this bundles and what is the use case of this bundle so in order to see that go to your build dot griddle module app level and i'm going to copy this particular uh, dependency and over here i'm going to paste it and create a new library so this time it is constraint layout which is 2.1.4 and in the libraries we have constraint dash layout 
module so copy this particular thing from here to here copy this paste it over here and we have a version a reference which is coming from our constraint layout now remove this sync your project so now i'm gonna use my bundle so i'm gonna call it base and here i will use my core ktx and constraint layout together go to your build.gram module app level and remove this constraint layout and use your bundle over here so lips dot bundles dot base sync your project and yeah everything works well so what is the use case of this bundle so suppose if you have a lot of dependencies and you want to use a, a single variable to manage all of your your libraries so you can use this bundle thing so this is a approach using which you can manage your build dot gradle dependency very easily so that's all for this video it this is a very 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 simple video and at the same time it is more efficient when you works on a multi-module projects so i hope you like this video and if you like this video subscribe to this channel uh, like this video and apart from this do comment because i need to know what are the things i need to improve so please comment if you have any queries or anything you want to uh, you want to discuss with me you can simply comment it out all right so thank you for watching this video i hope your day goes well